Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk with Tom and Homie. What happened at Ben 10? No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about all that. Let me start from the beginning. When I was a young boy, there was a new show and it was called Ben 10. I remember how excited I was when it first aired. I don't like it. Then over time, I loved it even more. Eh, it's okay. In the beginning, it was a show about a kid named Ben who went on a road trip with his cousin Gwen and his grandpa Max. And boy, does that sure sound exciting, right? Well, what if I told you that on that road trip, a space alien watch attacked him and got on his wrist and now he can turn into any one of ten different aliens. The hero's journey had begun and he could turn into a human torch, a four-armed hulk, a crystal monster, a furry, a fast lizard, a spooky ghost, a really big bug, a fit anglerfish, a grass pokemon, a computer virus, another pokemon reference, frog kid, big armadillo, and we're already past ten. Like, like you call it Ben 10, but then there's more than ten aliens, I just don't- doesn't compute with me. Like, you just kinda threw your original concept under a bus. How many aliens do we need? Also, Gwen's like psychic and can do move stuff with her mind. I mean, there's an explanation, I guess, but it just kind of seems thrown in there. I mean, I guess Gwen has to do something. So I guess like that's. I don't know, it's cool, I don't care. This was an action-packed Monster of Week show that tried to market itself mostly towards younger boys, but you know, it ended up attracting a larger, more diverse audience as time went on, because it was more than that. It actually had some continuity, some story arcs going on. It was actually a pretty interesting show. But you know, I fell right in that demographic, so you know I was crazy about this show. Ghost Freak is cool, I guess. Yo, you had Vilgax, who's coming forward, like, making Grandpa Max admit that when he says he's a plumber, he didn't necessarily mean he was a normal plumber. It's kind of like Mario. It's like, yeah, Mario's a plumber, but he's also fighting Bowser. Bowser, Wowser, Wowser. I mean, I guess he's not a plumber anymore. That's, that's canon. Our dreams are dead. Anyways, or the whole ghost freak angle. That was dark and also interesting. People love this show, and that's why they're gonna beat this horse until it's just dust in the ground. I still can't believe I look away for two seconds and I look back and it's like, whoa, what? Kevin Eleven is buddy buddy with Ben and Gwen. Gwen looks like that? What? How? No, for real, that's more than just puberty at work. Whose idea was any of this? Did they even explain this? Ben is a grown man? What? Why would they? Oh, okay. You're probably not gonna be surprised by this, but in my opinion, the best version of this show was the classic version. Of course, my opinion means practically nothing because I saw very little of the other versions aside from Alien Force, and I had only seen like episodes of Alien Force and all that, and I had never even seen Omniverse until I started doing research for this video, so clearly I have the most credible opinion here. And I'm not even going to go into the current show because the current show it is what it is, you know? It's, it's not bad, it's not good either, but it's not bad, I mean it's clearly a cash grab, but whatever Cartoon Network needs to do to pay their bills, I mean, I guess, whatever. But honestly, in some of these incarnations, it seems like with the writing, they just weren't even trying. And I don't, I don't like to come after the people working on shows, because I'm like, you know, you're doing a job, you're doing a service, you're doing something that's very difficult, and that you had to do a lot to prove yourself worthy of that position and your job. And it's also something that I can't do, and then I come on the internet, and as my job, I talk about it on the internet, so it's like you're doing me a favor, but like someone that's writing, it seems like someone had writer's block and they're just writing out something to get it on the page. And then the director came in and they're like, yeah, we're recording lines in an hour. I know I said it was in a week, but you got an hour to finish the script and they're just like, shit. Because like this, this dialogue is just not good. Oh, hey Gwen, I'm surprised you're here and I also might be having conflicting feelings about my moral view of incest at the moment. I'm Gwen, I'm here because of very specific family stuff. Hey, how about a callback to the original series? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Some small talk about how I'm smart now, but also insecure. I'm making reference to my personal life that you won't understand. I'm going to verbally acknowledge that you're not going to understand it. So I seem self-aware of my awkwardness. And also just to make sure the audience knows you won't understand it, because that's the only possible way they would know anything about the situation and how it's presented. You're right, Ben. Because it's not like we're close or anything. In fact, I'm gonna say that line word for word, just to make sure the audience knows that. As for Alien Force, it wasn't bad. By the time it was out, I was actually able to kind of appreciate the franchise, unlike when I was a younger kid and I was like skeptical of it for whatever reason. I, I was a uh I was a cynical kid, I don't know why. You know, I, I remember when I watched Alien Force, I was like, yeah, okay. But it's also kind of weird, you know, Gwen is an alien now, and that's why she's psychic, and also she has a thing going with Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, Gwen likes yellow flowers, but she also likes when you do this thing with your hands. Wait, Ben, how do you... What the fuck? Did I just ramble aimlessly about Ben 10 with very little structure or content or points for however long? 
You bet your ass I did. Congratulations, tell me about it in the comments. Or also, maybe just like, tell us your opinion on it. You know, it's just, let's talk with Tom. Let's get a dialogue going. Give us your opinions. Tell us what you liked about the show. What were your favorite aliens? What was your favorite franchise? Was it the new one? I bet it's the new one. You know, or be salty. Just be salty. Just salt the comments. You know, do whatever you want. It's your life. I can't control it. Let's, well, I'm, uh... I'm gonna go take a nap. Thank you for watching Let's Talk With Tom on the Roundtable, but Tom isn't just on the Roundtable. I have my own self-titled personal channel, I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram, I have a Snapchat, I have all that good stuff. In fact, I even have a Tumblr. So, if you're interested in any of that, check that out, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! <laughs>